Hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jay. Today we're gonna to be slapping around with the Grez Mendocino baritone guitar. <laughs> Well, it all started at the last NAMM show in California. It was like the last day of the show. And uh, I was uh, going to go to the, the Benson section to say bye to Chris Benson, right? Because uh, I play his amps. I'm a big fan of his stuff. And um, we have a pretty good relationship. I went there to say, yeah, but Chris wasn't there. But one dude was. And it was Barry Gress, who's the guy that makes these wonderful guitars. And uh, we got to talking. He, he kind of knew who I was. And... Um, he, st he put this model here, his baritone guitar, on my lap. And uh, I've kind of played baritone guitars before in the past, you know, um, and I kind of had my ideas of what they did, but for some reason, when I played his guitar through the Benson amp, through the pedals, it was probably one of the most, like, inspirational feelings I've had. Like, it really brought out something within me that was like, unexpectedly perfect, you know, unexpectedly perfect for like how I play my style, my sensibilities. It was like a perfect blend. In the past, I always like saw some berries as like kind of cheap toys, one trick ponies, or like these metal kind of instruments and stuff like that. But I don't know, maybe it's the gold foil pickups here. Maybe it's the, uh, the Honduran mahogany that's like super lightweight because it's chambered or the old growth redwood cedar or the ebony or all of those pieces combined created a really versatile instrument that like to the point where after Nam, I, uh, I like gave him a message that, hey, I want you to know that I just fell in love with your guitar. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, because Barry's such a cool dude, he found a way to get one in the studio. And I'm so happy because I get to show, show you kind of the things that inspire me uh, playing this particular guitar. So um, I've been playing this thing a lot. I actually feel bad because I've kind of beaten this thing up already, which is too bad because it's like, has this really cool Gretschy, funky thing, but oh my gosh, check this out. This is what got me in. So when I think of, yeah, baritones, I think of like, you know, kind of really simple guitars. I don't really think of a lot of detail and depth, but check this out. I went to the in-between position and then I heard something. I heard this pop. It has these thick strings, it has like a lower tuning, but there is this really wonderful quality. It almost sounds like a jazz bass. But then I could add, because it's a guitar, I could add chords. I could even pick the low strings, pluck the top strings, and it's almost like I have two instruments going on at the same time.
Like, man, that's right up my alley. That's right up my sound. And so, yeah, I could get that wonderful crisp thing going. But then it gets sweet. Put a little reverb there. I want to get a little bit smoother, let's go on to the other side here. I could go neck pickup. Kind of rounds everything up. Now we can get also to the other side of things. I'm gonna go in the bridge pickup and check this out. We have this clangy thing. These, the gold foil pickups really work well with the voicing, I think. It, it brings out a snap and a mid range that's just lovely. Let's put some tremolo and reverb here. get distorted. I have this uh, Royal Jelly it does fuzz and overdrive. This is the overdrive sound of it. <laughs> going on now. Here we go.
Isn't that wonderful? It is the Grez Mendocino baritone guitar. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on this guitar, a little bit more in depth on exactly what's going on with this guitar, um, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, all my demos I do here on the YouTube channels. Uh, my question for the subscribers, did you ever have an experience where you had something that was um, surprisingly perfect for you? Something that maybe wasn't really on your radar or something that you know you didn't really know that you like really fit your playing as much as it actually does? Write it in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.